With everything we've learned now about the balance of payments and international capital flows, we can go back and update our saving and investment model. Previously, we assumed that we were in a closed economy and we just ignored net exports. But now we're going to have a look at what the case is in an open economy. So in a closed economy, we said that savings were equal to investments. We showed that that was the case pretty easily. Now we're going to update that and say that in an open economy, we've actually got savings plus net capital flows is equal to investment. So this also is not too hard to show intuitively. You just have to realize that it is no longer the case that national savings are the only source of investment. We now have capital inflows as a source of investment. And at the same time, savings do not have to go into domestic investment they can go into capital outflows. So there's a couple of ways you can look at this equation depending on the sign of net capital flows. If it's positive, then we've got investment larger than savings. And the way you could sort of look at that is that investment is coming from two sources. You've got national savings as a source of funds for investment. And then you've also got your foreign investment, your net foreign investment.